chilly out here. <laughs> and wet and gross. What are you doing? You know, just hanging out. You probably should have gloves on with that. Probably should. So. <clears throat> this is what Matt's been working on. He's so good. <laughs> JK. <laughs> you can hardly see the detail on no, it. I need to erase oh, all that, but I'll, I just want to see what the stain looks like. Especially, I think, with this side. You can see the cuts are deeper. Yeah, so... This is my first try. What is it? So, if you look right here. So, this is re uh, repeated four times around the whole thing. It's a snowflake. And so, this is the head of a fox. Its foot, its stomach, its other foot, and its tail. And these are grapes, and a vine, and then some leaves. <laughs> And that's a cat. The heck? She probably knocked your coffee over. Great. So you're gonna stain it now. It looks beautiful. What? She's right here. <gasps> Is she on the screen? She's trying to open the. <laughs> I thought she was gonna be hanging right here. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right. So here is the color of wood that it's gonna be. Can't quite see it. But now it's uh, looking pretty good. I'm just gonna let it dry on this guy. Come back for more coats on the other side. It's okay. It's just rain. Why are you wet? It's just rain. Please. This dang rain keeps y'all from going outside. Not you. Seriously, why are you? I hope you were licking yourself. You are wet. Yuck. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. So we've got all of these Christmas presents that we need to wrap. Um, where I'm storing those is here, right here, as well as up here. I mean, it kind of works, um, but we can't wrap anything right now because of this thing. She will definitely tear the paper off of the presents. So we're gonna wait and in a couple days we're gonna have a wrapping party and we're just gonna clear off this table here and wrap presents like crazy so matt left for he's got every tuesday he has some type of um it's like a networking meeting <laughs> back, back up <laughs> he has to be there at eight we woke up at it's like 7 35 i don't set alarms um neither of us set alarms anymore because we wake up usually we wake up by 7 30 at the latest and that's when we always do have to get up so if we have to get up early i'll set an alarm but for the most part we wake up at the same time every day it's kind of cool so he left at like 7 45 and i let the dogs out i fed him i'm trying to clean because this little kitty is just making a mockery of our trailer um one thing that really bums me out and i'm going to show you guys is that she's been using these as a scratching post. Brady, back up! <laughs> she's been using our armrests. You can see this is not dirt, like those little white specks. That's cat scratch marks. Um, and she catapults off, catapult, hey, she catapults off the bed, jumps over here. I've caught her using these as a scratching post. Don't mind that. <laughs> I've caught her using like this side here. She'll stretch up and just scratch. So she's definitely tearing everything up, which is kind of a bummer because it's like, this is why we can't have nice things. Our nice things are now all scratched up, but she's cute, so <laughs> that makes it worth it. And I guess we haven't updated you guys on where she's going on Christmas. Oh, ooh, she's not going to my cousin anymore. The original plan was that we were fostering her until we took her to my cousin's on December 30th. We were gonna have to wait to go over there. Let me turn off the music. 
and she was going to be an indoor outdoor cat but I was at the gym uh, last week and I was just talking to a friend of mine. He's been a member of the gym for years, like back whenever I worked there. We were talking about Christmas and he said that they wanted to get their little, their little girl a cat, a kitten for Christmas. And I, I want to say she's like seven or eight. Um, that's my guess on how old she is. I was like joking. I was like, we've got a kitten that we're, she's kind of driving us crazy. Like, do you want her? He asked me more about her. And so I sent him pictures and told him the story about what we're doing with her um and he talked to his wife and he said hey we'll we'll take Burmy. he's actually gonna come pick her up on either christmas eve or the day before christmas eve the 23rd um and they're going to have a kitten to give to their daughter for christmas and i'm really excited because i mean she's definitely gonna go to a really good home um and a lot more space to run around as much as i honestly would love to have her in the family permanently. <laughs> what are y'all doing? This really is just not enough space for two dogs and us and a cat. I mean, if we had a house, for sure, and if we had possibly like a bigger trailer, like a 30 foot trailer, it, we could probably make it work, but at this time it's just not gonna work and it's not gonna be the best for her. And I'm going to be bummed whenever she is gone. Um, I'm going to miss her cute little face and her meow and her spunkiness. But like I said, it's it's going to be the best for her and the dogs. She is very playful. She attacks them regularly. And it's in a way like she's trying to play. But they just don't know it. And it scares the bejesus out of both of them. Um, and Buzz is like really grumpy about it. So that's where she's going to be going in a few days. So you guys will be seeing her for just a couple more days of vlogmas and I'm sure <laughs> you chill. I'm sure these guys are gonna be pretty excited about her leaving. Uh, they'll be able to have free reign of the place again. We'll have more room. There won't be litter everywhere all the time uh, and we won't have the whole freak out like we did last weekend, will we? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, the weather is just miserable and I hope it doesn't stay this way because it's making all of us stir crazy. For the rest of the week, Matt's working this week. Um, I've got my normal coaching online stuff going on and workouts, that kind of stuff. And then this weekend, we will be spending Saturday, uh, Saturday and Sunday with Matt's family. And then Sunday and Monday with my family. So you guys are going to be seeing some family footage coming up for Vlogmas. So I hope you guys are enjoying the last couple days has been kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a few moments where I'm like, I don't want to, I just, I, I just don't, I don't have anything to talk about, I don't have anything to film, but Matt was like, hey, you committed to this, finish it. So he's definitely helped me to kind of keep pushing with Vlogmas, and I'm, I'm glad I am because I know there are a few of you guys that are enjoying the videos, and we really appreciate y'all watching, and I, I want to let y'all know I've been reading all of the comments, um, I just haven't had any time to respond. So probably after Christmas I might take a break from doing some YouTube videos and I'll be able to respond to as many comments as I can uh, from the last month. But yeah, I've been reading all the comments and I appreciate all of you guys' feedback. Um, some of you guys have had some good ideas about Vlogmas videos, so I really, really appreciate it. But we're on day 20 now and we're going strong. So. Thank you guys for coming along. Like I said, I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Uh, overall, I've been enjoying doing the videos. It's just once I got behind, I was like, crud, how am I going to stay ahead? But just like anything else, make a game plan, keep pushing. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and obviously, I'm using the iPhone to film a lot more now because the whole camera situation has kind of bummed me out. And <laughs> I had this sitting on the table, <laughs> like face up. And Matt was like, please just flip it over, like set it down like that. It's making me really sad. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with this thing. It's so bad. Surprisingly, Brady didn't, there were, he, he had no cuts in his mouth. Like with eating this and then like crunching up two of these ornaments, they were in pieces. Um, I'm really surprised that he was not injured. But man, you guys, it's just further confirmation like, don't get too attached to things. And I did. So, anyways, I'm not quite sure where this vlog is going to lead us next. I just wanted to update you guys on the kitty cat. So, I will see you guys in the next clip.